Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I want to demonstrate how we can change the font size and the style of font for the web pages that we are looking at in Google Chrome. Now in a previous video I have also demonstrated the zoom function in Google Chrome and a link to that you can find below, the, below this video. But in this video, as I said, I'm going to look at how we change the font style and the font size for every web page that we load in Google Chrome. Now in front of us, you can see this is the BBC website, which is my favorite kind of test and demonstration page. And this is a very typical, well, this is the typical kind of layout for the BBC website. You can see the, the, the text here, the kind of style of it and the size of it. If we're not comfortable seeing that and if we know what font style we want every web page to be loaded in and also what font size we want every web page to be loaded in then we can change it and we can change it through the settings so let's go into the um, settings of Chrome just to say I'm using Google Chrome on a Windows 8 machine this is one of the um, most up-to-date versions of Google Chrome as well so hopefully it will be the same for you if you're running a really um, late, if you're running one of the latest versions of Chrome, so let's go into the settings. Now we can do this two ways: either we can start typing Chrome into our address bar, and you can see that it comes up there, or if we want to use our mouse, we can access it via this menu here. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's load up our settings. Oh, and it doesn't like that because I tried to do it both ways probably so let's um, here we go that's it it's that little mess out of the way in the settings menu we need to go right down to the bottom and we need to select show advanced settings keep scrolling down after it has launched the advanced settings and let's go to where it says web content here now in this web content what we're going to do is we're going to customize we're going to select the customize fonts button we get a dialog box up and this dialog box shows us all the possible different fonts that can be on a web page web pages have standard fonts serif fonts sans serif fonts and fixed width fonts now web pages have their own individual style of fonts and what we're doing here is we are going to override that style and choose a style of font and a size of font that we want that we find to be most comfortable and of course this is specifically aimed at people with a whole range of visual impairments who need to change the settings and the look of Google Chrome so let's go here everyone's a drop down menu so if we go back to the web page um, in our settings menu you can see that that is everything set to times new Roman and everything's at about 16 so there so let's go back into this menu and let's change it so I'm going to choose, I don't know, I'm going to choose an Arial for our standard font. Um, then for any fonts involving serifs, I'll do Vedana. And then I'll do Arial font here. and then I will do um, Vedana again for this one. Under the standard font at the top we have got a slider which takes us from we can have our text size as tiny 
which is about size 9 to huge which takes us to 0 0.72 and you can see that as I do the slider then it changes live or changes occur live as I make as I do the slider so let's take this down to size about size 22 and let's click on finished and we can see that immediately I haven't had to close Chrome down and reload it immediately those changes have taken effect and as I said those changes should happen for every website we go to and of course if we go back to this one website we can see that it hasn't worked that it actually hasn't adjusted or changed the font style or the font size but if we go back to another website that I use a lot of which is just a technology website where I find out about what's happening in technology we can see that the font size has changed because that's gone to a very large font size as well so it should by doing those changes it should actually change every website but unfortunately as we can see with this live demonstration it doesn't do every website so I guess the thing to do is go out there try it with your with your most frequently visited websites and then leave tell me in the comments which are below the video itself how the change has has the change worked for you and what you think about it okay Thank you for watching this video.